Right. Yeah. <laughs> point guard instead. This is Roderick in the second. So this is my testimony. I've been, I grew up in church like, uh, like many of y'all was born. Um, I wasn't necessarily, I was born to be uh, uh, Pentecostal holiness, you know, uh, believing in oneness and whatnot. And, um, you know, that's how my family raised me. And, and you know, going to church has always been something that, uh, that, that has been, like I said, ingrained in me. But I didn't really consider, you know, a, a relationship with God or, or, or actually consider to take it seriously until I got to college. You know, away from my parents, you know, able to experience life, uh, life or whatever. Look, like Kevin, um, like Kyle said, you know, college is a very vulnerable time uh, for people. And um, it was especially that for me, you know, because I've always been in church, you know, back and forth doing, doing this and that. But when I got to college, you know, it, it was my choice and my decision as to whether or not I wanted to go. And so, and so for about a year or so, I experimented, you know, with staying drinking, smoking, you know, wanting, wanting to have sex and whatnot. Uh, pornography was also included in that, and um, which that actually stuck with me for a uh, little bit for a while. And it is something that I still that I have to battle, you know, each and every day because sin is sin, it's never going to stop. Until until we're regenerated, fully in heaven, of course. Um, and so, pretty much, God saved me. You know, I realized that that my, that I was very selfish, arrogant, ignorant. Um, I thought, you know, I thought I knew God. I didn't realize the gravity of my sin until until I came here to Cornerstone and hearing, you know, true biblical preaching. Now, now I've been to you know other ministries served there. I loved it. I loved it. I loved the ministries that I was at. You know, I loved the people there. Uh, you know, but being exposed to you know systematic theology, exegetical preaching, you know, and this style of preaching and teaching, you know. It helps me to understand the gravity of my sin and and how that and how that has affected you know my walk with him you know on a personal level um, and and one there was one particular Sunday that I was here where where I I came to, I came to the realization that I came to the realization that it was my sin that put Jesus on the cross. And it was, that was one of the biggest revelations that I've had. Now beforehand, I've always been convicted, um, you know, of sin, mostly, I guess, from, from a worldly perspective, because even though I would be, you know, sorrowful over my sin, it wasn't according to, um, it wasn't according to godly conviction. But it was mostly due to fear, you know, fear of going to hell and this and that, and and I really didn't, um, and I really didn't pursue, you know, help like I needed to, or I, I didn't mostly pursue him the way I needed to, you know, for, for my salvation. Um, but but coming here, you know, it's you know, it's a very humbling experience, you know, when you understand and you when you understand. You know the nature of your sin, how far it can go, what it will, what it can do, and um, and even more so who, who God is, especially from a biblical perspective, which is what a lot of people doesn't have or are exposed to. Um, and so, and so, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is, is that when I came here to Cornerstone Church. It helped me to grow both both in the grace and knowledge of Him. It helps me. It's helped me to grow in my knowledge of Him, as well as also my shortcomings and what I need to learn and understand. Which I have a lot to learn about salvation, grace, redemption, sanctification, all that. The whole nine yards. Um, and and I, I really do. <laughs> it ain't nothing but God. It ain't nothing but God who. Who would do something like this? Cause, 
I thank I thank God for Nikki, who would come by the library or whatever to give off, uh, or you know, who gave me a track and introduced me or whatever to this ministry. She was she's a part of God's plan. Clyde, every, every last one of y'all, all of y'all have been, all of y'all have benefited. Well, I don't know all of y'all, so most of y'all <laughs> um, have blessed me. You know, you know, in such a way that. That it's only fitting that that I serve Him and give God the glory, Amen. you know. And so, and so, yeah, that that's pretty much my testimony, you know. That's pretty much it. It's a blessing to uh, hear my brother's testimony, and uh, really, really grateful uh, for the Lord bringing Mike to the church, and I know it's been a joy for you all to get to know him. Amen. It's really been a joy for us to get to know him and see the Lord already uh, growing him, yes. mm. so it's been a, a joy, and so it's a blessing for us today uh, to baptize our brother Mike. Um, and uh, based upon his profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, turning from his sin to trust Christ alone as a Savior, and then committing to serve Jesus Christ as a member of Cornerstone Baptist Church, it's our joy to baptize our brother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism. Yeah. Yeah.